Hello, everybody. Just getting myself set up here. Hello, everybody. Oops, we got to turn that off. Okay. Let's see, how am I going to see my comments? Whoops. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Christine from Minnesota. Linda, thank you. Welcome back. Hi, Mickey. Yeah, I had my video here and then it went away. There it comes. Okay, I'm going to boost the screen so it's bigger. Oh, that's so much better. Hi, Brenda. Karen, welcome. Michelle, glad you could um, watch us. I like your haircut, by the way. Anne Marie, Patty, Julie. Well, I don't know what it's like around the rest of the country today because I've been super busy. <laughs> but can I just say it is absolutely gorgeous here in Wisconsin. Oh my gosh, the weather is perfect. I actually got a little warm today in my stamping studio and I had to turn my ceiling fan on because I was like, Ugh. yeah, exactly. Hi, Heather. Hi, Mary, Tammy. So I hope you guys had a good weekend and a good week while I was away. Um, hi, Kay and Arliss. We had a fabulous time in Mexico. The weather couldn't have been more perfect. It was absolutely beautiful. 86, hot, humid, I love that. We were in Playa del Carmen and we stayed at an Ibero Star Resort. Thanks, Mickey. I know, I'm liking my tan too. <laughs> I got a jump start, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Sharon, it's hot in Louisiana too. I love the heat. Love, 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 love the heat. So it was right up my alley. And so does my husband. And it was so funny because we were there for a family wedding and it was a very nice wedding. Um, we did a lot of sleeping. Like the day that we got there, we kind of roamed around the resort a little bit. And then we went and ate supper and went back to our rooms. It was like about 630 and we slept till seven o'clock the next day. <laughs> and that's really funny because my husband, while he does go to bed super early and I'm a night owl, he always gets up super early too. So he didn't do that while we were on vacation. And then what was really nice is that both of us enjoyed just sitting on the beach, watching life happen, for hours and hours and hours. We would move into the sun, we'd move into the shade. We'd move into the sun, we'd move into the shade. And we just did that like every day. It was amazing. Yeah, and thanks Judy. You know, um, Judy said she's glad that I'm back safe. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in uh, Mexico and especially in the Cancun area. And um, we went shopping in Playa del Carmen um, we took a cab there and went shopping. We were out on our beach. Um, the resorts where we stayed are in kind of like a gated community, so there's security to actually get into the neighborhood where these resorts are, so that's kind of nice. I never felt unsafe, not for a second. So that was really nice. And um, I'm really not a big drinker, so drinking tainted alcohol really, that was a big problem there too. Um, didn't, didn't phase me too much. My husband drank the alcohol. I just took care of the, everything. <laughs> yeah, right, Linda? Relax and do nothing. And that's kind of what we did. And I loved it. I did do a little work. Um, I had my laptop there because, you know, we had a big promotion start on Tuesday. And I needed to get everything loaded on my blog and Facebook pages for that because... You know, when you're self-employed, you're always working, it's, it seems. But I spent minimal time doing a little bit of computer work. I had all my videos and cards and projects um, set up ahead of time to post on my blog, just kind of like I wasn't even gone. So that's the nice thing about working online, too. Um, let's see. I better plug in my phone here. And um, I've got some things to share with you. Oh, I wanted to show you, I got this pretty little bracelet. 
and apparently it's Mayan symbols or something. Um, I bought it from one of the guys on the beach. We'll see if it turns colors because I did kind of threaten his life about it turning colors. No, I didn't threaten his life. <laughs> but I told him that I would come back and find him if this turns colors because it wasn't too cheap. <laughs> But that was um, that was one of my buys. I'm not a big purchaser when I go on vacation because we've been doing these vacations long enough that you start to realize that almost everything you're buying is just crap and it's useless. Like you're all like, oh, look at that cute um, pottery that's all looking Mexican and all that. And then you get it home and it really doesn't have any place in your house. So we don't. We just don't buy much at all. I bought a couple t-shirts, um, brought them home, and, and you know, they shrunk. Yeah, because they're chintzy, cheap materials. So we've kind of learned our lesson on that, too. But we still buy t-shirts. Um, but I did get, hang on, this cutie patootie little cup. Look how tiny it is. It has a little spoon, too. And I asked the guy if it's, like, for cappuccino, and he didn't understand me. So, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> But anyways, it says where we were at. It's got um, Riviera Maya and I don't know how to say that, and Tulum and Playa del Carmen, Cancun, Cozumel. We could see Cozumel across the beach. So we'd sit on the beach and watch the cruise ships come in, and we've cruised into Cozumel before, so that was kind of cool. But anyways, what did I buy this little cup for? My glue. I like my glue to be down at the tip so it's ready to use so when I clean up my desk I will be putting that in there and then I also can use it for I put a little dab of glue on the end of these sticks and let them dry and then you can pick up little things with it so this is my um, picky uppy stick <laughs> and then I got these funny isn't this hilarious look at his eyeballs they move it's hard because you guys are up there but the eyeballs move and it's a pen <laughs> So kind of just a funny thing that I found that I thought was really cute and that I needed to buy. Other than that, I bought nothing. Um, and going to an all-inclusive resort is fabulous. Yeah, he pretended, Renee, not to understand me. I know they do understand a lot more than what you're saying. Um, when we were in Playa del Carmen walking down the marketplace, you know, everybody's hollering, come in my store, come in my store, la la la. And we're kind of like, no, we're not her. And, and it was hot. And my husband doesn't like all that. Come in, come in, come in. Me, I'm like, no, whatever. I can ignore them. But he gets like kind of agitated. So the one guy, as we walked by and said no, he said, please come in my store so I can just rip you off a little bit. <laughs> Steve wanted to go back and go in the store because at least he was telling the truth. Because, <laughs> yeah, you do kind of get ripped off on a lot of this stuff. They say that it's good quality, but it's really not. So that's why the bracelet, if it turns colors, I am not going to be happy. But we did get him the price down a lot. So, anyways, um, let's see. We have, what do we have going on? We celebrated Anna's birthday last night at the campground. They have a permanent camper in Wild Rose. So we went there and there was a two-man band that played at the pavilion in their campground park um, that are friends of Anna's mom's. And then my stepdaughter Stephanie sang. Oh my gosh, I love her voice. She's in a band and she's it's a really good band. This wasn't her band, but she got to sing a song um, with the band last night and oh I just love listening to her she's just got this rich almost an Alanis Morissette type rich voice and I just love it she's so good so that was fun um, we did that this week is a busy week um, I'm having lunch with my upline tomorrow then we have to go to a dinner for um, Steve's retirement account it's a dinner with the financial planner guy and um, then on, what's happening Tuesday? I think nothing on Tuesday, but Wednesday, I have to take Anna down for a checkup to Milwaukee, which is like an hour and 40 minutes away. And on the way there, um, we are going to drop Steve off to pick up his new Harley. Yeah! So we're pretty excited about that, except now he just told me a few minutes ago that it might rain. So that's not cool. Um, if that happens, we'll go and get it on Tuesday. And then Tuesday night... 
I have a team meeting here in Nina, so we have to get back so I can do that. And that'll be fun. Um, what else? Oh, Steve just made me dinner. I was looking to see if I had anything stuck in my teeth because I don't want to, you know, you don't want to have pepper stuck in your teeth. But he grilled steaks and onions and mushrooms. And he was afraid that he wasn't going to get it done before I had to go live. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope you get it done because I'm going to gnaw my arm off. I'm so hungry. So while we were in Cancun, my husband posted a picture on our, my personal Facebook page of um, me and him, his two sisters, and their husbands. They were all there for the wedding. And um, that's when I looked at that picture and I went, who is that? Like, I think I've mentioned to you guys before. I've gained 30 pounds since last late summer. And when I got out my summer clothes to go on this trip to Mexico, I have no shorts and no capris. Nothing fits. Like, I am that big. And I looked at that picture and, hi, Michael. I'm glad you could join us. Um, I was so disgusted. So, Friday, we got back late Thursday night. Friday morning, that's it. I hit the gym and did a class at the Y that just about killed me. And I started my diet. And I've been doing really good. Um, instead of Pepsi, you guys, I have been drinking water, which is unheard of. I hate water. Water's gross. It tastes like nothing. It sucks the joy out of your life. I get no joy from water. So I have one glass of crystal light a day and that's what I have in here. And Mickey, did I get my thyroid checked lately? No, but I do need to go in and get some labs drawn. Um, I really think that it's the medication I'm on. I have to take these drugs for five years. I have breast cancer, blah, blah, blah. And I have to take these drugs for five years and I really think that that is just ballooning me. I feel horrible. So. I've started my weight loss. I've already had 11,000 steps in by noon today. Um, Haley and I went and did Zumba at the Y this morning. That almost killed me. Yesterday, I went for a long bike ride. We have this park that is um, got all these resistance equipment. So I ride my bike three miles to the park and do the whole thing, you know, the repetitions of the lifting and the this and the that and the whatever, and then ride home. So I've been getting my exercise every day and I am bound and determined that I will lose this weight because I am not a happy fat person. Sarah Henning, how are you? <laughs> we were just with Sarah last night. That's one of Anna's friends. Um, so I am bound and determined that I am not going to be fat much longer. It's not for me. I am not a good at this at all. So anyways, let's get to some fun. I have prizes to award. Oh, a drop of lemon, frozen strawberries and raspberries. You know what, Suzette? I know. And that's what my daughter said. You know, you can put strawberries in your water and stuff like that. It still doesn't bring me joy. Doesn't bring me joy. Smith Park in Menasha. No, is it called Smith Park? I think it is called Smith Park in Menasha, um, Claudia. Oh, thank you, Robin. I am not fat. Well, I am because I gained 30 pounds and that's not good. So <laughs> it's got to go. All right. We've got prizes. I am excited. I don't know if Sue is watching. I probably shouldn't show people's addresses, but Sue Schnell for commenting on my last Facebook Live. You are getting a um, pack of pizza boxes. So these are super, super cute little pizza boxes. How tall am I? I am five, five or five, six. So now you tell me how much I should weigh. <laughs> I weigh more than I weighed when I was nine months pregnant with my daughter. So that's not cool. Hi, Karen. Hi, Susan. Okay, next winner is Lisa Vandenelsen. Lisa, are you watching? I think I saw you pop on tonight. Um, you are going to get some tutti fruity cutie patootie paper. So that's cool. And that is for sharing my video. You guys, don't forget to, sh you can click right now on share the video. Share this video for me. I absolutely appreciate it. And Patty, that beautiful inside note, you are so sweet. Um, Dawn, cucumber water is good. Yeah, I like cucumbers. That's what I ate yesterday. <laughs> okay, and then last for placing online orders with me, I've got Iris, and how do I say Iris's last name? Hajai, Haji from, oh, 
Let's go back. Sue Schnell is from Brilliant, Wisconsin. Lisa Vanden Nelson is from De Pere, Wisconsin. And Iris Haji, maybe, is from Hawaii. Oh my gosh, right? I love Hawaii. So I've got prizes going out next week. Well, this week, it's Sunday. So I'll mail those out tomorrow. Thank you guys for the shares. Really appreciate it. Then... I wanted to show you some cards that I got in the mail. So I think what I am going to do is, oops, I am going to um, turn my camera around so we can get this party started. What do you think? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Denise. Okay, hang tight. This is always a really iffy thing. And where's my camera? Where's it? Where's my camera? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Now let me get my stand adjusted here. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Oh, look, I've got my remote sitting on my table. If you get dizzy, don't look. Okay, I think we're ready. Now I gotta see. Okay, so I'm good, because I this is the middle of my table for me and I wanna make sure that I'm getting there. Um, don't forget, when you place your online orders, you're gonna use this host code. If your order is under $150, and it's Y-H-D-C-T-K-M-U. And you'll find my online store button on my blog, which is www.astampabove.com. So that's where you can place orders. All right, so I have to show you some things that I got. Um, these beautiful cards came from my wonderful friend, Barb. And funny thing... Um, I'm going to visit Barb, not this week, but next week. She lives in Wyoming. My friend Dina and I are meeting up in Minneapolis, and we are heading to Wyoming to work. Barb's a demonstrator. Dina's a demonstrator. We collaborate with our um, downline teams, and we are going there to do some work and, you know, kind of some play. <laughs> Barb sent me these wonderful cards, and oh my gosh, these are so pretty. This uses the new Rooted in Nature stamp set. Here's some of the Share What You Love designer series paper in a curtain technique. And this is that trio punch. Woo, love it. I love the pearlized um, flowers that are on here. I hope you can see them in the light. And then here is another one using the um, Rooted in Nature. And I love these little metal embellishments. And we've got some bigger um, baker's twine. Here's another one with the Share What You Love. Oh, I love our Glimmer ribbon. And then here's the embossing folder. I'm going to be showing you cards using this bundle, and we'll talk about this in just a minute. And here's the card that I got from my friend Barb. And um, it is just so sweet because I sent her some stuff. And she says, Kelly, you are the best. I'm so glad we met at Founder Circle all those years ago. You're one of my very best friends. And totally made my day. I just opened all my mail today and um, this so made my day. And you know, it just reminds me that sending a card has such an effect on really brightening somebody's day. So keep that in mind. If you have some friends that you haven't reached out to or heard from or seen in a while, send them an all occasion card. Just say, I was thinking about you the other day. I hope things are going good. It just really, it makes them smile. And I love that. And then Barb sent me, we have a new color coach that is going to be um, available online. And she made up all these cards for me with the color coach little pages and sent me this ring. And I am just in awe. Kathy was, my friend Kathy was going to make me one of these. And um, so Kathy, look at, look what Barb sent me. Oh my gosh, we'll talk. <laughs> All right, and then I got some mail. So let me show you the mail. Um, I, like I said, I opened this today. This is from New Hampshire. And this is just a really cute card with our hot air balloon. And this is from Lynn. And it's actually for Anna, my stepdaughter. And it says, Dear Anna, Kelly has been great about updating us with your health. She did let it slip. Your birthday is coming up, and I hope you are feeling well enough to celebrate. Best wishes, Lynn. How sweet is that? 
I'm going to see Anna on Wednesday. I just saw her yesterday. I should have opened my mail before that, but I'm going to see her on Wednesday, and I will make sure, Lynn, that she gets this. Thank you. That was just so thoughtful. And by the way, Anna is doing amazing. She is back to her old self. We had a blast um, with them last night, and she started a new job last week while I was in Mexico. She's going to be working with a real estate agent, and um, she's super excited about it, so things couldn't have gone better there. Yeah, thanks, you guys, for the hearts, because she, um, she really, really, really needed those prayers. And then from Sun City, Arizona, look at this little jewel. Isn't this just cute? She cut out ovals and then just stamped. She stamped and then cut the ovals out and then raised them up on dimensionals. I thought this was so pretty. And this is from Linda and it says, Kelly, many thanks of all your YouTube videos. I was helped the most from the one about navigating your blog. And you guys, I have a video on YouTube that teaches you as a stamper how to do things on people's blogs and look at different things. And also it talks about the different aspects of Facebook as a stamper and how you can use Facebook to your benefit. So go on my YouTube channel. It's under Kelly Atchis and you'll find it. But she said the thank you on the front. Oh, the thank you on the front is from a friend in calligraphy. So one of her friends actually um, wrote this with the calligraphy pen. So isn't this sweet? Thank you very much. This was so nice, Linda. I so appreciate these cards. All right. What else? Oh, one more. One more. This card came from Stampin' Up. And isn't this cute? I know, right? And I'm like, why are they sending me a card? <gasps> Congratulations on earning the 2018 incentive trip to Alaska. And this is old news. I earned this last year. Each year during the incentive trip, we select several demonstrators and their first guests to have dinner with a corporate team member or board of director. This year, we have selected you. So, my mom and I are going to be eating dinner at the Explorer of the Sea Specialty Restaurant, Chops Grill, with um, someone from the executive team. So, that's really cool. I've done this in the past. I've been a guest of the executive team. And um, it's just really a lot of fun. So that was really cool. Woohoo! Got to make sure I keep this so I know what's going on on that trip. I am taking my mother with me on the Alaskan cruise. That's the Stampin' Up! incentive trip that is happening in July. And we're also bringing her friend Rosie. And they are both super, super excited about this trip. And I'm super excited that they're so excited. My mom has never, ever been on a trip like this. Like, this is very fancy, extravagant, and my mom has never um, partaken in something like this, so I am so excited to show her around the ship. All right, enough yakky to yakin. Let's get to stamping. Let's see, do I have any questions? Um, Bonnie, first time watching me. Well, I am glad that you made it. Yay, and thank you guys for the congratulations. All right, so I have, let me dump my cardstock out here. Oh my gosh, is it looking pretty? Yes, it is. All right, so we have, let me grab my flyer. Where did that go? Right here. As of May 1st, Stampin' Up! has an early release, and um, if you haven't seen it on my blog yet, it's the Share What You Love Suite. And this is a suite of products that Stampin' Up! is releasing early. Um, the promotion goes through the end of May. And it's a bunch of different bundles. So, the um, Just Getting Started bundle is $57. You get the stamp set, very vanilla cardstock, grapefruit grove, stamp pad, um, a clear e-block, and old olive in the new ink pad design. And you get a free pack of vanilla note cards and envelopes. So that's your freebie for buying the bundle. Then we have a bundle called A Little More Please Bundle. And that one, you get um, two stamp sets. And we're going to be using both of these. The Love What You Do and the Make a Difference stamp set. Get a pack of very vanilla cardstock, an assorted pack of the Share What You Love cardstock, the pearly, pearly, <laughs> the pearlized doilies, 
the Grapefruit Grove Classic Stamp Pad, the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon, Artisan um, Pearls. These are beautiful. And then you get a free pack of envelopes and you get the um, Artisan Embellishment Kit free when you order. This is a bundle. This one's $91.50. Then we have the Gotta Have It All bundle. Hang on just a second. For some reason, I don't know why, but all of a sudden my live on my laptop just quits. Um, yeah. Oh, Suzette says, those new ink pads are hard to open. They are a little stiff, Suzette, um, but we're, we'll talk about that as soon as I get going here because we're going to use um, the Grapefruit Grove on one of them. So we'll talk about that. Um, with the Gotta Have It All bundle, you're going to get both of these stamp sets. You also get a Statement of the Heart stamp set. The Very Vanilla Cardstock Pearlized Doilies paper. You're going to get this gorgeous designer series paper called Share What You Love. And the nice thing about this, it has a value of $27. You get four sheets of each design. Four sheets of each double-sided design. So that's a huge pack of paper. Um, the pearls, the ribbon, the grapefruit grove. You get the floral, lovely floral dynamic embossing folder. And then the Statement of the Heart Stamp is free, the Very Vanilla Envelopes are free, and the Embellishment Kit is free. So you get three free things in this one. And Sharon is in dire straits for envelopes. Well, get this bundle. <laughs> and then the other thing that's an early release is the pack of um, In Color, the new In Color ink pads. When you order them as a whole entire set, you get 10% off. So all five of these are only 30 377. So that's what's happening. Now, that was a lot to absorb all at once. Please go to my blog. You under under each post, I've got a click here for details on this promotion. When you click there, it's going to take you right to a page where it tells you exactly what is in all of these bundles, okay? So you'll know exactly what you're getting. Now, here's a little tip with the Gotta Have It All bundle. That bundle's $127.50. If you add just a little bit more to that to get it up to $150, you get Stampin' Rewards. And I've had a lot of people doing that this last week because they wanted the Tranquil Tulip stamp set. Let me get out my catalog here and show you. Um, if you saw that card that I used the Black Emboss Resist um, technique on. This Tranquil Tulip stamp set is only $10, but you have to have Stampin' Rewards to buy it. So if you host a party, you get Stampin' Rewards. If you put an order in over $150, you get Stampin' Rewards. You have to have Stampin' Rewards to get this because it's a hostess only stamp set. So if you get the Gotta Have It All bundle, push that up to $150 if you can. So you can get some Stampin' Rewards and you can actually get, I mean, you don't have to buy this one, but you can get any of these stamp sets and they're extremely inexpensive. $10, $12, $13, $10, $12, $16. You can get any of these with your Stampin' Rewards and it's just a better way to, you know, you're going to get more. You get more. <laughs> okay. Let's get started on this card. I've got a really nice and easy card for you. Like I said, we're going to be using um, this bundle. This is the Make a Difference stamp set. And that is part of the A Little More bundle and the Gotta Have It All bundle. And the neat thing about this is all of these letters are, you know, they're fancy. They're kind of in cursive. Um, if you remember what that is, I think I'm speaking to the right age of people that we all know what cursive is. <laughs> Funny that that's going away, isn't it? But um, um, they, they're, they're cut really close together so you can put them on a block and spell out any words you want. And then you have all of these down here. 
Made with love. Um, hashtag send a card. Created by. Handcrafted just for you. Hashtag make a card. This belongs to. So you've got all of these things. You've got a bunch of symbols. You've got numbers. And you get this cute little floral thing that we're going to use. I think you're going to love this. I just got this out the first for the first time today. All right. So I always like to go over my cardstock layers. And remember, on... Tuesday, I will post all the details for the cards that we're making tonight with their dimensions and all the ingredients used to um, make these. So if you want to get more details about it or if you want to go to my store, you can go down to the product list. It's going to have all the products that I've used. You can just click on one. It'll take you right to my store. So I've got Bermuda Bay here, and this is not a, one of the colors that's listed in this designer series paper. But I thought these little polka dots looked close enough that I could make this card Bermuda Bay. So that's what I'm doing. This is four and a quarter by 11. Oh, Sharon's telling me that cursive writing is coming back to your schools. Well, that's interesting. Wow, I didn't know that. I just heard on the news that they were getting rid of it. Well, and kids don't really write anymore. Everything's on a tablet, right? I know Haley was telling me today that she had to yell at one of her students. She's student teaching um, eighth graders, and she didn't yell at them, but she had to talk to them because they were goofing around on somebody else's Chromebook. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they all have that, don't they? <laughs> okay, so I am going to, this is the designer series paper. Let me get the real stuff here. I just cut up some six by six squares so I could show this to you. This paper is delicious. Here's the pearlized flowers, holy cow. I love this color too. This is like crumb cake. And then we've got more pearlized flowers and these polka dots that I love and some more flowers. These are not pearlized. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. And these stripes. Here's some pearlized flowers, love this pattern. And the green is just so vibrant. And then some more pearlized flowers and some tranquil tide leaves. So this paper is just so darn pretty. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I've got lots of other things to show you too using this paper. So make sure you check my blog out. If you're not a subscriber to my blog, when you go there in the right-hand column, you'll go down a little bit and it'll say subscribe and you just put your email address in there and click on a couple things and you'll get an email saying confirm your subscription. That way you won't miss anything. It'll come right into your email inbox. Okay, so I've got a four and a quarter by, no, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter inch layer of the designer series paper. And then I've got a four by five and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White, a scrap of Whisper White, and then this designer series paper is two inches by four inches. I already cut out a black scallop from our layering, layering scallops, and I've got one of our pearlized white doilies here. And then I took this paper and I just cut a strip of the polka dots off of there. So that's what this is. So I, it's not measured, it's just cut this and then cut that and you'll get one little strip, right? Okay, let's get our supplies out here. Um, I don't need that, but here comes our stamp set. I've got a really neat thing to show you on how I stamped my little words that I'm gonna put on this. Okay, um, this is my scrap of Whisper White. So what I'm gonna do, usually I tell all of my customers that you wanna stamp first and then punch out your circle. But not all the time. Sometimes there's a reason to punch your circle out first and I'm doing it so that I know how to space everything out here. So I am going to take this cute little floral leaf image and I'm gonna stamp it in Memento Black Ink. Oh, neat. Lisa, your daughter's learning cursive. Well, that's interesting. Good for her. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I'm going to stamp that right at the top of my two-inch circle. And then I'm bringing in my rich razzleberry. And here's what I did. I'm going to spell out the word spring. So I've got my S on a block here. 
Let me make sure I'm doing this right. I want to leave enough room. With the Rich Razzleberry ink, I've got my P on a block here. And now I've got these, the rest of the letters, I've got them each on the ends of these longer, this is a G block, I think. Yep, G block. So I've got a letter on each end. And watch how I do this, because I thought this was pretty geniusy. Yep, here's the R. So I put the R on here, and then I put the next letter upside down over here. So the R is right side up, this one's upside down. And you might get my crowny head in there. Ooh, perfect, yay. Okay, so far so good, I'm on a roll. And then we've got the I. And this is just far enough apart that it's not going to stamp on my little circle, right? So I thought this was kind of a pretty good idea. And then we've got N. This is hard because I'm not left-handed. That, yep, that's my N. Go right there. Yay. And then my G is right here. Oh my gosh, I did it. That was stressful. <laughs> no, stamping shouldn't be stressful, right? No, not at all. And I see that my video quit again. What's going on? Are you guys still live with me here? I don't know why this keeps happening. There I come. Okay, I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, then I'm going to use my um, Stampin' Blends. I've got the light Old Olive here to just color in my leaves. And um, I've had a lot of people asking about the Stampin' Blends. Some people have them on back order. And you know that they shut the numbers off for the Stampin' Blends because they couldn't get a shipment in. Um, but we do have the ones that are back ordered coming in throughout the month of May. So um, tomorrow, May 7th, some of them are coming into the warehouse. I don't know exactly which colors, but then... Um, Throughout the month on various days, others are, are coming in. So don't worry. Your Stampin' Blends are coming, and as soon as they get here, they will ship them to you or me, and I'll let you know, wherever your original order went. Okay, so here's our um, little spring. This is going to be an element on my card. And then, let's see, this is the inside of my card, so let's take care of this right away. I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to put glue right on the very very edge here of my whisper white layer and that's what I cut this little strip out for oh my gosh this is gonna be sweet is anybody asking me questions Robin tell Jeff hello oh <laughs> can't wait to get the new catalog okay thanks Becky yeah, the new catalog is amazing, you guys. You're going to love it. I will be putting in my order today for cases and cases and cases of catalogs. I have already um, done my mailing selector where I'm having Stampin' Up! ship out the catalogs to many, many, many of you. So that's already been taken care of, um, but it will take a while before. I don't think Stampin' Up!'s going to ship them till later in the month, so just know that, okay? You're not going to get them... Um, like in a week. That's not going to happen. Okay, and inside the card we go. Oh my gosh, I've got 117 of you watching. That is amazing. Thank you so much. I just always feel so blessed to see all the enthusiasm for my crazy stamping antics. <laughs> this is a two inch punch. Um, somebody just asked, Diane, this is a two inch circle punch that I used for the for the spring layer. Okay, so we've got this inside our card. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this layer and I'm putting it in my um, triple, my banner triple punch. And if you guys missed my video on the um, templates that I made to cut smaller banners out, it's on YouTube. Go look for it. It's super cool. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I came up with that all by myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes I have some great ideas. Most of the time I'm just sharing ideas somebody else had great ideas about. So that one was mine. 
And if somebody else already shared that, I didn't know about it. But it's possible. It's funny because one time I um, was loading my cards on Split Coast Stampers and some gal um, made a comment under my card and said, um, my friend, this is my friend's card. And I'm like, well, no, it's not because I just made it. She goes, well, my friend made one almost exactly like it. And I'm like, well, great minds think alike. I'm, I'm telling you that I didn't copy it from anybody. We got into a little argument over that, and I didn't argue too much because I'm like, I don't have time for this. Um, didn't copy the card. So don't get bent out of shape about stuff like that. It's really pretty nonsensy, right? It is the biggest compliment for somebody to copy what you've done. I always consider it a huge compliment because look at my look at all my sponges. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, there's a Bermuda Bay one. Um, I love it when people copy my stuff. You can copy my stuff. You can put it on your blogs. You cannot take pictures off my blog and put them on your blogs. That's a no-no. But you are certainly welcome to copy anything I make. You don't have to give me credit. I. It's just. It. That's why I do this. Is to share. People who get worked up about that, nonsense. We can't be friends. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. So while I was gone, I can't wait to show this to you guys. Oh, by the way, I'm sponging the other side. This is the pearlized side. This is the plain side. And I am sponging this with Bermuda Bay ink because I want a color doily. And this is just another cool thing you can do with these doilies that come in all, well, do they come in all three of the bundles? No, they come in the second and the third bundle. You can make these any color you want with a little ink. So my daughter came here while we were in Mexico and decorated her graduation cap. You know, they're square and you got that big area. I can't hardly wait to share with you guys what she did to this graduation cap with all of my stuff. So there was um, bits and pieces of paper all over the floor and I had my office all cleaned up before I left for vacation because I like to come home to a clean office and house. And um, so I, my husband had the vacuum cleaner sitting in the hallway. So I went over and grabbed it and quick vacuumed up just under my desk where all this paper was all over the place. And then he came back later and he's like, um, is that all you're going to do? And I looked at him like, I've got 5 million things I have to do. I just got back from Mexico and I need to work. And I'm still looking at him. I'm not saying anything. And you want me to vacuum the house? Are you kidding me? And then he laughed and he goes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was ready to rip him a new one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like, that wasn't even funny, but I did laugh. Because I thought, are you serious right now? <laughs> He's got nothing to do, but he wants me to vacuum. Okay, so I'm putting this on a layering oval circle that I already die cut. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it up on some dimensionals. And again, you guys, this is just a really nice, easy little card. Your designer series paper is really makes this card. It doesn't really matter what you stamp on here, right? It's the designer series paper that does it for this card. I'm just going to center this. Well, I'm going to glue this down first because let me grab some tape. Uh, let's see. How am I going to do this? Here's a scrap. Yep. There we go. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Yay! And then we're going to bring this in. <gasps> Isn't this adorable? Love, love, love it. And, oops, I did. I'm like, don't I? Oh, nope, I don't have anything else. This is it. This is the first time I made this card. Do you love the stripe down the side? I love the stripe down the side. Oh, you know what? This looks kind of plain. I don't like that. Hang on. Let me grab some mini glue dots. We're going to fix this puppy up because I just thought of something that I can do. I tied a knot in this before, but I wasn't really quite sure what to do with it. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Let me grab my better scissors here. It's got some frayed ends. This is that velvet ribbon that's so stinking pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. And it's only eighth inch wide, so it's really nice and thin. Here we go. I'm going to do that right there because I think it needed something. What do you guys think? Do you think it needed something? Yeah. 
I know, Robin, these are great colors, aren't they? I love this. This is just fun to me. This is going to make somebody smile. And again, I just put spring on there. It could say hello. It could say anything you want it to say with this Make a Difference stamp set. We're going to be using this on another card tonight, too. So I can send this to anybody. Love that. I love the versatility of just a, just a real plain... Do I want to say plain? A non-occasion saying. How about that? <laughs> okay, let me get my mess cleaned up. And we will make another card. I have a fun fold for you guys tonight that I think is going to knock your socks off. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'm not going to talk about it now, but I'm excited to show it to you. Get all this cleaned up. Out of the way. There we go. Okay, I think I'll keep the dimensionals out here. And next, what am I making next? I'm making this one. So, because I just got back from Mexico, and, um, yeah, my thing locked up again. I don't know why that happens. That's so weird. Yes, yeah, Sarah, you could make a personalized note card as a gift. A whole set of them. That would be an awesome idea. Nice. The DSP only comes with the third option of the bundles. Yes, Linda, that is the case. But remember, this is an early release. So um, if that third bundle is not an option for you, this paper will be available June 1st in the new catalog. So I want you guys to all know that. Okay, next, I had a card buffet Saturday morning. And I do my card buffets with my very good friend, Kathy Miller. She's watching tonight, too. And um, we just did a big swap. So, by the way, when we get done with this video, I think I'll have time to show you. I've got 20-some different cards using this bundle that I can show you because I host a bundle swap every month for other demonstrators. And um, our uh, bundle swap choice this month was the Share What You Love. So I've got a ton of ideas to show you. So the card that I'm going to show you how to make right now is actually was designed by my friend Kathy. And um, we were at the card buffet yesterday and I said, oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing for my Facebook Live. I just, you know, it's hard to get back in the groove when you've been gone from work. That's what happens to me. I... I need to get back in here and get right on it right away, but it just doesn't happen that way. So um, I asked her if I could use her card for my Facebook Live, and she said, oh, absolutely. I love that girl. <laughs> so this card was designed by Kathy Miller, and she is an awesome stamper and makes some very beautiful things. Oh my gosh, look what I just did to my card. Like, how did that even happen? That's horrible. Hang on. That will never work. Grab another piece here. Oh my gosh, I don't know what my folding skills are lacking tonight. I shouldn't be so rough on myself. It was only once, right? There we go. Okay, we've got early espresso. This is five and a half by eight and a half, and I just folded it in half. And then I've got two pieces of very vanilla. This is these are both four by five and a quarter. One's for the inside, one is for the front. I've got a piece of our Grapefruit Grove that is three and three quarters by five. And then I die cut two, just in case I make a mistake on one. <laughs> I die cut, you only need one. I die cut um, a small oval from the layering ovals in very vanilla and a scalloped one that's gonna go right behind it out of um, early espresso. And then I've got some of our lace trim. I'm like, oh, what's the name of that? Lace trim. This is really pretty stuff. I love our ribbon. A piece of our um, burlap ribbon. And then I'm also going to be using our linen threads. We've got all of these things going together to make a beautiful card. Kathy, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, let me find my stamp set here. Okay, I just need the thank you out of this. So, I am going to, oh, where's, oh, the embossing folder. This is called Lovely Floral, is that right, you guys? Uh, Lovely Floral, there you go. This is one of those dynamic embossing folders. 
um, which means it's super, super thick and it gives you that awesome 3D look. And let me grab my big shot, get this out of the way so I can bring that in my big boy in here. I love my big shot. Mm. Don't know what we did without it. Do we? Do we know what we did without it? Okay. When you use these dynamic folders, don't forget, you're going to not use a cutting plate when you lay it down on your platform with the one tab open or that extra piece off. This is an old platform. The newer ones, you can just take a shim off, basically. And you always want your hinge of your embossing folder to go through your machine first and then one cutting plate on top, and that's all you need to use with these big, thick, dynamic embossing folders. Will the embossing folder be in the new catalog? Yes, yes, Robin, it will. All of these products will be in the new catalog. The big thing about the bundle right now is that number one, you can get it early, so that's always fun. Number two, you get the free stuff when you buy the bundle. You get one free thing with the first bundle, two free things with the second bundle, and three free things with the third bundle. So that's the benefit of getting it now. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't it just delicious? I love this. Okay. So next, we are going to grab our groovy, or I always want to call it groovy guava. We had a color called groovy guava. This is the new ink pad. And Suzette was asking, um, saying that these are hard to open. They are stiff right now. They're new and they're stiff. But once you've opened and closed them a few times, they're going to loosen up a little bit so they're not so hard. But here's the deal. The old ink pads were used to pushing, flipping, sliding. You got all that going on, right? Um, a lot of people like to force the ink pad closed from this point because it always has a little catch right there and then they pop it out and now you have two pieces. That's how that happens. When it catches like this, these are the old ones, you're just going to, do you see, did you see what I did? Let me try that again. It's stuck like this. You're just going to touch it and it's going to pop right down there. Okay. Now with these new ones, you just flip them open like a compact. Flip them open. This is, I don't know, this is pretty easy. Now, I hope Suzette is talking about what's hard is pushing it in here like this. And yes, this is tight. I am, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say I'm struggling, but I'm giving this quite a bit of force to push it back and forth. Another thing you might want to do is, uh, maybe I'll, I'm going to save that idea for Wednesday. Never mind. Talk about that on my wait what Wednesday tip video you guys know on my blog I produce at least two videos every week besides this one yeah tomorrow I have the color fusers blog hop we're using emerald envy flirty flamingo very vanilla whisper white and some other color I can't remember right now um, but I'll have a video for whatever I haven't come up with my card yet <laughs> I'm doing that after I get off here tonight um, but I'll have a video on that tomorrow too but um, anyways, this is snug, it's tight, but I'm sure it's going to loosen up after a while. So um, tune in to my blog Wednesday and I will give you a good tip on how to make that happen a little quicker because I just thought of this on my own. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I need the little tiny flowers that are in this Share What You Love stamp set. Did I even show that to you? I don't know if I did. Um... I didn't, didn't give you a close-up of that. Look at this beautiful thing. I love watercolor images. I love them. Like, if there's a stamp set in our catalog that has a watercolor type image in it, it's mine. No questions asked. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm using the tiny little flowers here in the grapefruit grove. Yep. <laughs> I almost said groovy guava again. And I am just going to stamp them on the bottom of my layer here. And you want to kind of move them around. You don't want them to all, you know, look like this, right? They all look the same. You don't want them to look uniform. So I'm just wiggling my cardstock around as well as the flowers. 
Let me get out a wipe here. Clean this off. Okay, and then I'm going to take, oh, we're going to layer this right on. People that came to my card buffet this weekend, mine and Kathy's card buffet, they got to make this card because it was one of Kathy's selections. The card buffet, you guys, if you're local, it is so fun. We have a bulletin board with 16 cards and you get to choose eight of them. It's $18 or free with a $25 order. And if you're long distance, you're just out of luck, I'm sorry. Um, we do not do any mailing of any of this stuff. I just don't have time for that. And don't forget too, I have my used stamp sale coming up on June 2nd, if that's the Saturday, I'm pretty sure it is. June 2nd, used stamp sale at my house. Um, you should be seeing lots of advertising about that. If you're not on my newsletter list and you're one of my customers, please let me know. Pop me an email and say, Kelly, I'm not on your newsletter list because I just sent out a newsletter last week on May 1st telling everyone what's happening with everything with me and my events and so on and so forth. Okay, so here we go. I just put that um, lace trim on there and now I'm just going to put the burlap ribbon on there and I'm just folding it around the side here. I just thought this was such a pretty card and just a really unique way to uh, use the stamping and the embossing folder, right? Get that out of the way. Oh, it looks a little crooked. Ah, hang on. We can't have that. I need, I'm going to do a good job, Kathy. I promise. <laughs> I can't be doing a half, you know what, job with Kathy's card here. Oh, that's so much better. Then I'm bringing in my bow jig. So many of you have been emailing me about this bow jig and you want one and um, you should have one, absolutely. My friend Denise's husband, Denise, are you watching tonight? You said you might be able to watch. My friend, um, yeah, I'm in Menasha, Wisconsin, you guys. Um, my friend Denise's husband makes these bow jigs and they are amazing. They're easy, you can make your own, but you can also just order one from her and let her husband do all the work. <laughs> Russ likes to make these. Um, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp com, and I will send you, I will send your email to Denise. She'll get in touch with you. They're $10. It includes shipping. And you will absolutely love your bow jig because I have three of them, three of them that I keep right over on my shelf and use all the time for my stamp clubs and my card buffets. Love these puppies. Okay, so now I have a nice bow done here. Oh, I think Kathy's bow is bigger than mine, but this is going to have to work. You can make your bow any size you want, okay? Mini glue dot here, and we are going to curl that little bugger up and put it right here. Now, before we're done with this card, oh, I still got some other things to do. I almost forgot. Isn't that cute, you guys? Pretty nice so far. Oh, Claudia, it's your granddaughter's birthday on June 2nd. Well, happy birthday to her. I hope you can make it too. My sale is huge. It's huge and it's crazy. And please don't email me or message me and ask me to look for this, that, or the other thing. Um, I will not do it. No, I had an alarm go off. Hm, that's weird. Okay, I didn't do a very good job with that. So we're going to try it again. <laughs> that's why I cut out too, right? So um, anyways, back to my used stamp sale. I'm not being mean about it, but we have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff here. And I let all my customers and all my demonstrators on my team sell stuff in my used stamp sale. So they bring it, it all gets unloaded in my garage and set out on tables and organized by a fabulous group of helpers. I don't know, I couldn't do this without these people. And... Um, the sale is from 9 to 3 on Saturday, and at 3 o'clock, we have more people that come in. I do need volunteers to come in and help pack stuff up this year. And <clears throat> they come and help pack things up. Where did my dimensionals go? Right here. And it all gets given back to the people that brought it, and my personal stuff gets packed in a box and put down in the basement till the next year's sale. So I have people who will contact me and say, Kelly, do you happen to have this retired stamp set? No, no, 
I'm not looking in the basement for any retired anything. Everything is packed away. I don't have time for that. Um, no. And again, I'm not being mean. I just don't have time for it. We got lots of new stuff in the new catalog. Pick something. <laughs> that was kind of nasty, wasn't it? <laughs> well, we do. It's true. So while you may be looking for something, and I, I can appreciate that. You know, I don't mean to be such a rag about it. But um, while you may be looking for something, I can appreciate that. But please don't ask me because I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to look for retired stuff for you. I sell Stampin' Up! stuff new. That's what I do. Okay. <gasps> look at the pearls. Kathy did this. Not my idea. Hers. Aren't they just so pretty? Yeah. They're very pretty. And then she also added a couple of the artisan pearls to this little thank you vanilla layer. And this was super, super pretty. Just going to do that and that. Isn't that nice? All right, here we go. Here comes our card. going to get her done. And we're going to put this right on the early espresso. Mm, this is so, 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 so pretty. What do you guys think? Sandy, Facebook kicked you off. See, mine stops all the time, too. I don't know what's up with that. It's annoying. Okay, next. We've got the inside of Kathy's card, and I am going to do exactly what she did because there's no reason to change it. Sometimes I change things because I don't have the, you know, product or I don't have the this or I, I think, oh, this might look okay or whatever. But I'm not changing anything here because this was just adorable. And I love thank you cards. That's the what I need the most. I need thank you cards all the time. Okay, there we go. Here's another beautiful card. I might send this to one of you. I like to send out thank you cards for my online orders. I do that. I'm a little behind, so if you've ordered from me in the last few, two weeks or so, three weeks maybe, um, I only usually send out the cards about twice a month because it's kind of a big undertaking. Look at that, you guys. <gasps> Love it. Such a pretty card, and it's very easy, right? It's not a lot to it. You know, my ribbon is hanging up here. My burlap, I should say. I'm going to, let's see if I can do this. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit. I'm going to put a little snail under there. There. Oh, now it's kind of looks stupid. There we go. <laughs> we don't want it to look stupid. Okay, there is another share. This is the Love What You Do stamp set, the Share What You Love bundle. All right, let's keep moving along. I think I'm using this color again, so I'll leave that right there. Get all the rest of this stuff put away. So we can keep going. Oh, what are you guys drinking tonight? <laughs> Sharon, she says, you've got a little behind. I want that too. Sharon. Did you miss the whole start of my um, Facebook Live about how I talked how fat I've gotten since last year? <laughs> I do not have a little butt, but I'm aiming for one. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, next. I think, oh, yep, I already did that one. This is the card you guys are going to go, oh my gosh, over. So, I'll show you what I got. I got a card in a swap from my um, downline, Christine. And Christine, um, I asked Christine, what's the name of this card? I sent her a message tonight. What's the name of this card? And she told me that it was Doris's card. She copied it from her. Doris is also on my team. So I got in touch with Doris and um, it's called a box card and you are going to love it. I just know it. It's super, super easy. We're using all this beautiful paper and Doris is watching tonight. Doris, I hope I do this right <laughs> because I didn't do this little tab on the other two cards that I made, which I have two more cards to show you. I didn't do this little tab, so we're going we're gonna to do it together. <laughs> Okay, I have got Tranquil Tide, and this is just um, five and a half by eight and a half, so it's like the size of a card base. 
I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and extend the arm out. By the way, you guys, if you're looking for a good paper trimmer, this one is so nice. I'm, I'm really very impressed with it. It's got a scoring and a cutting blade on it. It's got storage on the back. This thing comes open and you can put stuff like your bone folder if you travel to um, crops and stuff like that. It's got a lock on here to keep this locked so it doesn't fall open and bust off if you're traveling with it. It's got the arm, goes out to 14 inches. It's amazing. Okay, enough about that. Okay, now what you're going to do with your five and a half by eight and a half inch tranquil tide. Oh, Becky's drinking water too. I'm sorry, Becky. Water brings me no joy. It provides no joy in my life. <laughs> But I understand because I've been drinking a lot of it. I've never drank water in my life. Like, I mean, you know, you'll have a sip here, or go out to eat, and you'll have a little water or whatever. But to fill up a glass with water and drink it, no. Uh-uh. Since Friday, that's pretty much all I've been drinking. I have my one cup of Crystal Light a day. The rest of it is icky water. And uh, I know you can do a lot of things. You can get that Mio or Milo or whatever it's called. Hate it. Um, <laughs> the only thing that you're going to make me like water over is if we dump the water out and put Pepsi in. That's the only way you're going to change my opinion. <laughs> so, okay, let's get back to this. Enough about me and my water problem. Two inches, four inches, and I think I already did that. Yep. Six, eight. Score it at two, four, six, and eight. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm going to bring my bone folder in here so that I can get a good crisp burnish on that. You know where that word comes from? My English friends in the UK. Yeah, I learned it from them. This is called burnishing. <laughs> we all got a good kick out of that. I didn't know that. I just, you know, you just do that to make it a nice crisp fold. All right, so next, you're going to close your card like this and I, oh, now let me see. Yep, this is it. I'm trying to think, Doris, because I'm putting that little tab in there like you told me. So I don't want to mess this up. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, WD-40. Somebody's got a cutter that's stiff, I take it? Okay, so this is what we have. You've got a square, right? Watch this. Doris is a genius hear that? I can't click on the alarm to turn it off because then it'll go away from my Facebook Live. And I actually put do not disturb on my phone, so I don't even know why that's happening. Okay, so these two pieces are supposed to be um, five and three eighths by one and seven eighths. All three of these designer series paper pieces, that's what they're supposed to measure at, but it looks like <laughs> I didn't measure quite right. I don't have much. Oh yeah, look at how stupid that looks. Um, not really stupid, but I'm really off on my, let's see if I can pull that up. So this is the stuff that usually happens behind the scenes, you guys, that you don't get to see. <laughs> the ripping apart of things. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I cut this right. Probably the card base is not cut right. There we go. Okay, so isn't that pretty? Again, the Share What You Love Designer Series paper. Here's the other side of the peach, and we are going to put that. Ah, oh, Doris, you know what I did. Are you telling me? Kelly, you forgot the tab. Ugh. Well, I'll see if I can fix it. Doris is watching. She's like, she forgot the tab. I knew she was going to forget the tab. I made the tab. The tab is a half inch by two and a half, scored at one and a quarter. And this tab is supposed to go underneath this layer of designer series paper. So let's see if I can get it in there. I'll put some glue on it. I'm going to try and shove it in there. Here we go. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, I did it. I did it. Okay, so you're just going to tuck that. It's just kind of flopping around there. Okay, don't worry about it for right now. We're going to deal with that in a minute. 
By the way, this is called a box card. Did I tell you that? Okay. Now, I've got a Whisper White layer here that is the same as the Designer Series paper. It is 1 and 7 eighths by 5 and 3 eighths. And was I going to stamp on that? Let me think. I think that I was. But I didn't make this card yet with this pattern, so I wasn't really sure what I was going to do. Do I have any ink pads? Hmm. Well, let's get out some Rich Razzleberry. How about that? Some Rich Razzleberry. I like the Rich Razzleberry. It's one of my go-to favorites that I just love. And I think I'll do these flowers. Oh, yeah. You know what? I am going to stamp on here. Oh, no. I'm not doing this. Hang on. Sorry, I got a little confused. Could you imagine if I had done this up a week ahead of time? I'd never remember anything. Okay, the inside I have put with the um, alphabet stamp set that I showed you before, you rock. And that's what I'm stamping right there on this little panel. And that's crooked, so we're going to turn it over. Try that again, and now it looks much better. But there's my you rock. And then I think I'm going to come in with some of this grapefruit and how about some of these little berry all of these stamps again you guys um, come in the bundle do some little berries oh that looks pretty I like that a lot and let's see I think I also was going to make another doily yep with the grapefruit grove I want this to be orange, not white, and not pearl. So we're going to do this again. Don't you love that you can modify these things? <laughs> Linda thinks she's the only one that removes glued down pieces. Oh, Linda, if you could see the things that I've ripped apart, you would be shocked. I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> That's how much practice I get. Yeah. That's why you guys don't see me use a lot of glue on my layers as a rule because if you put a whole bunch of glue on, you're never going to be able to rip that apart when you make a mistake. And if you use a little bit of glue, it's not going to fall apart. So you don't need to worry about that either. All right, so I got that done. Then on the front, I think I want this to say it's a beautiful day. Uh, nope, I'm going to do... Love what you do. That's what I'm going to put on here. Love what you do. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And then I'll take these little flowers again. And we'll just put there. Isn't that cute? Super easy. I'm making this as I go, you guys. Did not have this figured out. Now, I've got a much bigger black scallop here. And I'm going to just glue glue this. <laughs> I'm going to glue this onto my black scallop. Whew, almost messed that all up. Ooh, isn't that striking? And then we're going to put this on. Make sure I have it centered here. <gasps> pretty, pretty. Do I need some pearls? I think I do. I think this needs some pearls. I'll do, I'll do some green pearls on this one. How about that? These pearls are so pretty. Love, love, love them. How about three? We always do kind of things in threes. Uh, right here. There we go. Okay. Here comes our U Rock. And who can I give this to you? Two? I can give this to my daughter. She's rocking it right now. She is graduating from college next Saturday. I'm so excited. And um, I can send this to her, and I think maybe I will because she's gonna be a teacher and she loves it. So love what you do, you rock. Hello. Now, here's the deal. You are only going to, Doris, I hope I'm doing this right because this is the first time I've done it this way. You're just gonna put some glue on this tab and you're going to center this part. Ready, are you ready? Look at that. Can you see that from up above? Whoops. How cool is this, you guys? Look at that. So that tab allows this to be like right on the crack. <laughs> a 
crack kills. <laughs> oh, sometimes I make myself up. Um, <laughs> I almost did screw up. <laughs> Sharon, I know. Isn't that cool? So look at this. This mail's flat. Just like that. And when they set it up to display it, it's going to do that, you guys. Isn't this super cool? Thank you so much, um, Doris, for answering all my questions today so that I could figure this out. And then let me show you. Let me get this closed. And I'll show you a couple more that I made today. What time is it getting to be? Um, I don't know what time it is. Oh, 7.15, we're right on it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> kind of messed that up, darn it. I'll save this for another time, no big deal. Okay, here comes another one. <gasps> Look at that one. Okay, so when I was making these earlier today and then Doris sent me a little video and hers was going like this, it was going like this. I'm like, hey, how are you doing that? She told me about that tab right there that you tuck under the designer paper and then you just put it on this side right here, right? Um, so I made these before I knew about the secret tab. <laughs> so I just glued it on this side, but here's another one. Stands up like this. I used old olive and I stamped with some crumb cake and some rich raspberry. Isn't that cute? I wish I could stand these up so you could see them, but you can't see them in the camera very good. And then, I know I went crazy with it. I made this one, and again, you rock. There's some flowers. Oh, look what I did here. I used that embossing folder twice on just this panel here. And the reason why I did that, got that idea. Are we still live? Like, I touched my screen and my alarm clock. Ooh, my alarm clock. It went to my alarm clock, and then I didn't know how to get back here. <gasps> Jeez Louise. Glad I didn't say any naughty words. <laughs> okay, so here's the original one. And um, my downline, Christine, made this. Isn't that just precious? And she embossed with the petals. I think this is called petals embossing folder here. So that's when I decided, ooh, I'll emboss with the lovely floral that's in the bundle, right? So you guys, look at all these ideas using this share what you love bundle. It is amazing. And anytime there's um, a stamp set that you don't have a lot of trouble creating stuff with, like I could sit down and create forever with this thing. Um, oh, by the way, this is that artisan kit. So, oh, I know I was going to put one of these little flowers on here someplace, but mm, I didn't do it. I'll save that for another time. It's got these laser cut labels in it. These are so pretty. And some colored baker's twine, some white thread, these little floral embellishments that are self-adhesive. The best part about this whole thing, and this seems crazy, but from a paper crafter standpoint, you'll understand, this box is big enough to fit a whole bunch of cards in and you can give it as a gift. What? Yeah, that's right. So here we go. Do I have all my cards out here? Um, I made one, two, three. Didn't I make another card? No, because I have swaps to show you. Okay, so are you guys ready? Thanks, Doris. Thank you for helping me out today. That was so nice of you to answer all my silly questions. I guess they weren't that silly, were they? Um, all right, I've got a gazillion cards to show you guys. Here they come. Again, share what you love bundle. Check this puppy out. This is Kathy Miller's card. She made this one too. She's a really good stamper, right? Anything on the inside? Nope. Okay. I made this one. I used this one for, this was my bundle swap. Let's see what I did on the inside. Oops, this one is still in the envelope. Hang on, because that'll give you a horrible glare. Here's another one. This one is by Tammy Stump. This is some of the new Baker's Twine. It's thicker and it's in mint macron. Um, inside. And let me pull this out of here. Yeah, Teresa, each one is as beautiful as the next, right? I always mean to say, um, I load these videos up to um, 
YouTube, and so people aren't always watching them live. If you're watching on YouTube, this is a live video that's on Sunday nights um, on Facebook. So sometimes I need to repeat the questions that you're typing in the comment section so people who don't watch it live know what's going on. But isn't this gorgeous? I absolutely, and this is with the um, stitched shapes. And these are the square ones. Just gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. This is by Tammy also. And then we've got Jeannie Franz. And again, oh, look at that. Look at that. Pearlized flowers. I love what she did here. It's very, very pretty. And another one by Jeannie. This is the Silver Edged Berry Burst Ribbon. And it is carrying over to the new catalog. This one is a monogrammed card, A for Atchison. Isn't that cool? So with that little alphabet set that comes in the um, big bundle, you can um, make a set of monogram cards for people. Look at how pretty that is. This was Denise Johnson. Nice job, right, Johnson? Yes. Nice job, Denise. I think this one's Denise's also. I love using all the papers. It's just pretty, isn't it? It's a beautiful day. Yes, it is. And then we have this one is, I don't remember who made this because there's no name on it. But again, another pretty card. Love that velvet ribbon. This one I think is by Rose. Yep, Rose is on my team. I love this frame here and just a tiny bit of the pearlized doily. She did a great job on this. And I don't know whose this one is. There's no name on it, but I love it. Very pretty. Oh, and here's another one. Happy birthday. Are you guys doing okay? Can you see these all right? Am I going too fast? Do I need to make them talk, you know, bring them up more? Not getting a lot of questions tonight. I must be doing okay. <laughs> I hope so. Here we go with another one. This is really pretty. Love this. This is Sandy Carlson. Who's this? Judy Garza. I love this one. Look at how cool this is. Ready? <gasps> Maybe we'll make something like this sometime. This is like a fun fold. And this is also Sandy Carlson. Love this. This is so cute. And another one. I just love these colors together. I'm so glad they brought Mint Macron back, right? This is Christine's card. Christine is the one who gave me the idea for this box card. Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and here's another one. And this is by Christine also. And she used, I think this is champagne um, oval behind there. Maybe it's silver. It might be silver. I, it's hard to tell in the light right now, but that's really pretty with that another layer right under here. <gasps> Love this. Look at Mom. That's done with that letter set that comes in that big bundle. And they um, did a black doily. This is really pretty. And whose is this? I don't know. And here's another gorgeous card. Um, I think this is by my friend Dina. Maybe this one. No, I don't know if that's Dina's or not. But can you see? She's got that embossing folder on this background. She stamped the Just Breathe first and then did the embossing folder. That's so pretty. This is another one by Rose. Oh, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening with that. Huh. Anyways, is that just supposed to hang there, Rose? I'm not sure. Um, this is very pretty. Neat way to use that tag, right? And then we have this one. Look at oh, Very cool. And this is by nobody. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know who this is by. The copper um, trim. That goes nicely with this peachy kind of blush colored designer series paper. And another one that I don't know who made it, but this is also very pretty. I would have never thought to stamp the flowers here and here, but I really like this card. It's very pretty. 
and another one and the embossing folder is in the background here and sh she used who's this Judy used the um, what's that punch called starburst punch right here comes another one. Oh, that's pretty there's that trio punch I love that thing I love those trio punches oh pretty this is candy Michaels oh and here's one that I've already shared on my blog using that fun polka dot paper. And um, yeah, that was my other bundle swap. Okay, you guys, please share my video. I always appreciate that. Um, I will be doing drawings for my next Facebook Live. Let's see. My next one is going to be next Sunday, the 13th. And I'm thinking that I might be pushing it back to 7 p.m. Central Time because it's so light out here later. And I know wherever you are, whether unless you're overseas, but um, we stay busy outside longer in the warmer weather, right? So I'm thinking that if I push myself back an hour to 7 o'clock, everybody should kind of be coming in the house by then. It'll make it a little easier if you want to catch me live. I think right okay so don't forget to share the video um, I will enter you if you've made comments if you watched my video but you have not commented yet please type a comment that gets you entered in the drawing to win free prizes and I will have some great prizes again next week and then the following week on the 20th I am going to be I don't fly in from Wyoming until late. So I think what I might do is move to a different night during the week of the 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I have to check my schedule because I've got a lot of stamp clubs coming up these next couple weeks um, that I'm gone in the evening. So does anybody have any questions for me? Oh yeah, Sunday is Mother's Day. Oh yeah, the 13th. Well, my mom's going to be here for Haley's graduation, but I'm sure she will be going home before evening comes. So I'll make sure that I have my Facebook Live stuff ready before she gets here for the weekend so I can spend some good time with her. I think that'll make her very happy. Thank you guys so much. They are really pretty cards, aren't they? Um, and you know, that's all because this bundle is so amazing. You guys saw how easy it was to make all of these cards. I love these box cards. I hope you guys give these a try. Remember, it's just a card base, and then you score it two, four, six, and eight. Fold it into a box. Here's that tab. Glue that in there. And if you want to, you can just glue it to the side, but I like Doris's idea of having that tab so that when it sits up, it wiggles back and forth like this because it's fun. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fun stuff. Okay. I think I'm going to sign off. All details for all of these products, um, projects, and products. Not all these swap cards, you guys. I'm not doing that. That's too much work. But all the cards that I made are going to be on my blog on Tuesday. Please make sure you join me tomorrow for the Color Fusers blog hop. I think we have 8 to 10 blogs using the same color combination so you can see what different ideas people came up with. I always love that. It's a good challenge. This is my host code if you're placing an online order. Um, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you like a really important thing. Great, and half of you are leaving. Um, if you order one of the Share What You Love bundles for me, I have a PDF file with 30 project sheets with Pictures, dimensions, ingredients, and instructions. You will get 30 pages of 30 different cards using this bundle. Yeah, crazy, right? So I just showed you 20-some cards right here. These are not the cards in the PDF file I will send you if you order this bundle from me. So order the bundle. I will email off the PDF file. When you get your bundle, you will have 30 different ideas at your fingertips with cutting directions so you can cut your cardstock. The inches are going to be right there. It's going to be fabulous. 
Lori, are you kidding? I had 180 watching me. Are, that is amazing. Thank you guys so much. I'm always so humbled by that. It's like, wow, there's 180 people that want to watch me. <laughs> That's just crazy. I love that. Thank you for telling me that too. I really appreciate it. Okay, you'll get a free PDF file. Um, when you place a $50 order with me, our bundle, our lowest bundle is like $51 or something like that. Any $50 order will qualify you for the PDF file for the 30 cards. So um, if you have some other retiring stuff that is more on your list of priorities that you need to order, as long as your order is at $50, you will get the PDF file as a special gift from me. So just know that. All right, you guys. I thank you, Charlene, because you are always so fun. That's really sweet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you next Sunday. If you have any um, requests or ideas, please uh, leave a message on my Facebook page. And I will see what I can do because I don't have anything planned. As a matter of fact, I didn't even start making this stuff until about 2 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> That's how I roll. <coughs> All right, you guys. Have a great week. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.